Deathly silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. become yours. Your plan was devious, your cruelty unparalleled. I would have followed it were your mind not destroyed by your sister. But with you gone, the three pitiful chosen fought like children in your wake. I gave them power to harm one another with, while I crafted my design. I used the chosen, while they thought they used me. The orders are now mine to give. I won't allow it. Again! Dominate it!
who do you think told the Chosen about the Astral Prison? Who do you think planted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do? When the Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? We were part of its plan. I only needed one Neverstone Lucent from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. This was your role, and it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. We have to stop it! It's now or never! in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain, no longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to 
evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. Do not exaggerate. You nearly died. I saved you, yet again. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. I have assessed our encounter with the Netherbreak from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Anithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you. Not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy. The same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential. All while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time. To trust me, release the Netherstones to me. After everything I've done for you, you choose to side with the devil. You would free the Githyanki and risk everything we've worked towards. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. I had hoped for better, but I can't say I'm surprised. It was always in your nature to give in to temptation. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join with the nether brain. Prince takes his blade, a silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of Illithid. You took advantage of my powers, and you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty. The Prince of the Comet gets true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive 
nor forget your abuse of my powers. That is false. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Gake would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering, avoidable, were it not for the choices you made. power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. There is not. We face a nether brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. Just as I was free, I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. It seems I misjudged you. You were testing my honor. And in so doing, you have convinced me of yours. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become geek. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything you've ever known. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then, complete silence, as you are once again closed off from the Netherbrain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain.
there it is. The crown of Carsus, the site of power, the site of domination. If we are to dry the stones once more, we ought to do it there. I take it. Oh, I thought they would be prettier. I know you. I know everything about you. Your thoughts. Your feelings. Your weaknesses. And so do they. grasp of itself slipping. This is your chance. Impossible. Pain. Fear. Terror. Reconsider. Assess. Implore. Surrender. Silence, brain! The grand design has failed! You have failed! Spare me. Join me. Wield me. Become absolute! Command it to die. End this! Let's seize the whole damn world and be reviled together.
everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever changed in me was permanent. The parasite. It's with it. Dead along with the Netherbrain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. I will ensure that all Gith Yankee know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you. The Illithid who defied a nether brain. As you wish, my savior. People are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. It... It's not meant to be. You are gay. As noble as you are, this is a threshold I cannot cross. I have already chosen a way. The way of Orpheus. Vlakith will fall, and we will plant a seed. From that seed, Githyanki freedom will blossom. Your will is strong, Rastil. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus, I am ready. Farewell, Jestil, my liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flayer, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption, or not. 
Perhaps you are unique among a lithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature, a rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor, the risk is certainly yours to take. Will you? Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own master. Right. I suppose there is more work to do now. What first? There was always going to be a moment when your sacrifice caught up with you. A threshold beyond which you would have to venture alone. This is that moment. You are a mind flayer after all. You will have the rest of your long years ahead to understand what that means. Meanwhile, your allies have rather inferior plans of their own. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I doubt we'll ever see that face basking in the sun again. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. He slept like a babe straight through the night, dreamless, thoughtless, and almost entirely free. For the first time, you feel alone, calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. But what will you do now that your life is your own? A rush of pleasure wells up within you at the thought. You still do not know the full extent of the scars that you left, but you will heal them one by one. And once you have, the world will be yours. Not to conquer, but to explore. Faces gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. 
Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. I owe you thanks. The crown really is marvelous. I'm almost tempted to dig Carsus' soul out of whatever pit he's in, so I can show him what his creation is capable of. Now it's in the right hands. My legions are beginning their assault on Zariel's flying fortress just about now. It will fall before the sun rises over Toril, and Avernus will be mine. Conquering the other hells will be simplicity itself. Some of the archdevils are already making overtures of peace and promises of tribute. My dear father Mephistopheles, is among them. Even he sees how the tide has turned. And with all nine hells under my command, I will end the blood war. Inferna Victoria. And look for new worlds to conquer. <laughs> it won't be long before I come knocking at your door. Ta-ta, for now. Lives, all mortal lives, What are you doing? Approaches. 
scuttling in without the tyrant's rock. <laughs> you are a mangled bloodbrain, thinking father could be refused. <laughs> Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. until my skin shreds wet and red. You still don't remember, do you, Bloodkin? <laughs> of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. Stand aside. I will assimilate the Githyanki's power in your stead. Stop. You would keep my people chained to their damnable queen. I 
should have trusted my gut. Driven a blade through your throat at first chance. We have the means to free Prince Orpheus. And you side with Geek. You want Orpheus dead. You'll have to kill me first. Lies. You have been seduced by empty promises. Gay tricks. To think I ever hoped for more from you. You have damned my people for eternity. Assimilate Orpheus, and I will rip off your every limb and bask in your agony. By Gith's eternal grace, do it. We will end the grand design, and then we will go our separate ways. Judge me. Come, we must follow the brain's path. This time, we will not fail. Bring it down together. I'm its master. I will finish this. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of the Emperor's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. You glimpse the lifelong destiny promised by your father. Enslave, dominate, ruin. In your father's name, you must seize your rightful claim to the brain, not destroy it. If you do not, then he will flay and shred your mind, so it cannot even comprehend the horrors he will plague you with. We could do it, you know. We could rule the world.
in Baal's name. upon legions of unborn elites. The pain warps through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Overbearing quiet of your father's disappointment before the rush of your tragic fall. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. I should feel relieved, yet my blood still simmers. The Parasite, it's withered, dead along with the Netherbrain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended. You did us a great service. And I'm grateful for it. It makes little difference to me. I did what I had to to secure my freedom. And in spite of your resistance to evolution, you have proved a good ally. You may have succeeded, but I have failed. Gith's son is dead, and Vlakith has abandoned me. I will be hunted by her Inquisition to the ends of the world. I must leave. I have nothing more to gain by being here. while the false queen reigns over my people. But a life nonetheless, and a free one. Yes, I will stay. My destiny is for neither Vlakith nor Orpheus to decree. It is mine. We fought well together. I will gladly fight with you again. If not the Astral Seas, then here, and wherever else we go. Now 
Well, there's a sight to see. Not that I'll miss them. <laughs> With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. What shall we do next? After everything, that's your suggestion. Aren't you tired? I'm tired. I will not be joining you. I fear my presence will be no more welcome in the streets of the city than it ever was. I hope the knights and shadows treat you well. You're an odd friend, but I suppose a friend still. I will miss you too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I'm sorry. I, I have to go. That's the last of Astari and the sun will ever see. May he fare well in the dark. Your thoughts wander from your companions and everything you endured to your own piteous fate. If only you defied your father when you had the chance and freed yourself of your dark desires. But it's too late now. Your destiny is set. Your very blood shall clot with the urge. And that hungry desire will consume you. You may have freed the world from the control of the nether brain, but you are not yet free. Your father is angry. What foul punishment awaits you now that you have rejected him? Just like that, it's over. Whatever's left of you is subsumed by the overwhelming strength of your desires. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Very well. I have the means to evolve you. I took this one from the Nautiloid. I have been nurturing it ever since. Priming it for your use. All you have to do is open your mind to it. 
Its latent potential will do the rest. between thought and feeling is gone. Your mind and body are as one, bristling with concentrated cerebral energy. Exactly as the Emperor described. But there is something else. An emptiness to be filled, a hunger to be sated. It is overwhelming. You feel it, don't you? The hunger. Embrace it. Feed. Stop. You would keep my people chained to their damnable queen. I should have trusted my gut. Driven a blade through your throat at first chance. We have the means to free Prince Orpheus. And you side with Geich. You want Orpheus dead. You'll have to kill me first. Lies! You have been seduced by empty promises, gay tricks! To think I ever hoped for more from you. You have damned my people for eternity. Assimilate Orpheus, and I will rip off your every limb and bask in your agony. Then we will go our separate ways. No! I'm sure you will learn how to do it more gracefully with time. But you have done what is necessary. The greater challenge now lies ahead of us, the Netherbrain. Come, we must follow the Brain's path. This time, we will not fail.
can't feel the tadpole. It's gone. We're free! And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever it changed in me was permanent. And I didn't even have to turn into a mind flare to do it. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Well, you know. And rightly so. You are better now than you have ever been. I have crossed blades with countless warriors among the tears of Saluna, but none so resilient as you. Succeeded, but I have failed. Gith's son is dead, and Vlakith has abandoned me. I will be hunted by her Inquisition to the ends of the world. I must leave. I have nothing more to gain by being here. You helped my people end the grand design. For this, I will remember you, but I will not forget what you have cost us. You had the means to free Orpheus, but you chose not to. I watched you consume his mind. I will remember the fights we fought together, but my next fights will be without you. There's a sight to see. Not that I'll miss them. <laughs> With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flayer, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption. Or not. Perhaps you are unique among illithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature. A rogue mind flayer, like the Emperor. The risk is certainly yours to take. Will you? As long as you're not expecting anyone to follow you, I wish you all the best. <laughs> uh, though I have a feeling you'll be just fine. It will not be without sadness that you depart your friends. But at least they will be safe. Perhaps there will be rats or other thoughtful vermin that you might sustain yourself on. Or if you're lucky, a cellmate. for you, or confirmation that he owns you. Domination, slaughter, mountains of corpses, you standing atop them, you must destroy this world. 
It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedient subject to his lash. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who have challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... A scribe, a seneschal, a keeper of records, and now thine advocate. Both here and in the city of the dead, today thou art born anew. A genuine pleasure to meet you again, my friend. A triumph most deserved. Well done. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of night. Do not thank me. Trust in thy courage and the conviction of thy companions. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. We face a nether brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. Just as I was free. I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. 
I will end the grand design. The nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me. Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartavkeem crushed. the grand design is ended. Kill me. It is the very least you can do. Come. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this nightmare. on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. I know what you're thinking. So let's do it. Let's seize the whole damn world and be reviled together. My master. I must obey. I must. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. The brain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. I should feel relieved, yet my blood still simmers. And we didn't even have to turn into mind flayers to do it. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, well, you know. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, 
I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. Yes. But for how long? My mind screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the Astral Seas, while I still have one to call my own. Perhaps you are right. I may not be the one to lead my people, but I can still bear witness to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms, for even in darkness, the stars of Tunarath will shine upon me. You were a worthy ally. Homecomings are never easy. I fear Orpheus will find the Githyanki much changed. And they him. Now there's a sight to see. Not that I'll miss them. <laughs> With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. Right. I suppose there is more work to do now. What first? Um, a keen idea. I was taught its cloud peaks are infested with monsters of all sorts. But first, fresh meat and a hot fire. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. That's the last of a starry and the sun will ever see. May he fare well in the dark. It's over. 
And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. He slept like a babe straight through the night, dreamless, thoughtless, and almost entirely free. For the first time, you feel alone. Calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. But what will you do now that your life is your own? A rush of pleasure wells up within you at the thought. You still do not know the full extent of the scars that you left, but you will heal them one by one. And once you have, the world will be yours, not to conquer, but to explore.